What's going on everyone? Thank you for joining me for another video. Today I'm going to be talking about my experience with vaping. I just started, uh, like I said in a previous video, I just started vaping and I'm just going to tell you real quick, because I'm not an expert on it, I'm a vaping, I'm a beginner vapor. There we go. Um, so, if there's anybody out there who's looking to start vaping, as a beginner, I can tell you my beginner knowledge and uh, what I know. So, real quick, let me just <clears throat> kind of go over some of what I got here. Um, <clears throat> Alright, so what I started out with uh, is this right here. This one. And this is called a Joytech Ego T. And the T stands for tank. And this is what, uh, a tank system. This here top part. And then the bottom is just your Ego battery. And this one here is an Ego starter kit with just your standard CE4 clearizer, which is that right there, and then just a Joytech Ego battery right there. So this is your your regular, your very very beginning starter kit. Run you about ten fifteen dollars if you're looking for them on eBay. Um, and then this will run you a little bit more between twenty to twenty five for just one. Um, you can buy directly from Joytech and get something like their starter kit, which comes with two of them, and it runs you like 60 bucks, um, depending on who you get it from. But I just bought one, um, so it wasn't that much, and I bought it off eBay. Uh, and the way to tell, just real quick, um, if you're getting a real Joytech Ego battery and, and system, or if you're getting just a generic, is just by looking at the bottom that little sign right there that's their like logo or whatever so if that's not on there you got the generic uh, which isn't that big a deal the generic I've, I've used them my friends at work everyone at work basically is vaping I uh, knew four people who were vaping and when I started I helped four more people get set up vaping uh, by buying stuff online for them and just letting them give me the money because they don't have accounts on eBay and stuff so a lot of people at work is vaping um, but my experience with uh, this one, let's move that. With this one here, um, is kind of like a love-hate relationship. Um, it vapes really, really well for me, being a beginner. Um, <clears throat> it's super easy to set up. There's tons of videos out there online you can watch, and they'll show you all about setting them up and you know what to do to start and what to do to clean it and when you're switching liquids and all that stuff because there's kind of a lot that goes into this stuff um, and there's plenty of people out there making videos on all of this so it's really easy to find but <clears throat> for me the upside is I get a lot of vapor um, out of it and I, I get a lot of flavor from from this system but if if it gets tipped in my pocket or anything else like this upside down you can see the liquid here in the cap coming and then it'll drop back down if that happens too many times um, I'll be vaping and I'll see liquid start to leak here out of the bottom and from the top um, and it just kinda goes everywhere and that drives me nuts because you're losing liquid and then you gotta clean it up and it's a little bit messy um, they've, they've got another one called the Ego C and that stands for changeable um, and it's the same thing but they uh, supposedly have fixed the leaking problem and instead of, because when this, this will stop working eventually um, <clears throat> let me show you this unscrews and this piece right here, this whole thing will uh, stop working or it'll start to go bad after a really long time and you'll have to buy a complete new thing um, and that's the atomizer in, inside there um, gets old and, and dirty so you have to buy a new one and those can run you uh, about 15 bucks but with the new one um, you don't have to buy an entire new body you can buy just the little piece and the changeable and put the little piece in there so you, you keep that um, and you can kind of see I just tilted it there there's a little bit leaking already right there so yeah <clears throat> alright and then with this one this is great because it's really really simple uh, the CE4 clearizers and they're about three dollars twenty-five cent. 
if you look hard enough on eBay. You can get them in all different colors. Um, <clears throat> they're really easy to fill. Just unscrew the very top and then you put the liquid kind of off to the side and it pours down. Um, I get good vapor production from the CE4s for being as cheap as they are. <clears throat> now a tank that I tried when I first started that I don't have here is called a Kanger T3S and this is a, a guy at a store sold me that when I was buying some juice and he told me that it was great for beginners and blah blah blah. Well it didn't work for me for more than a day because I didn't know what I was doing and I didn't prime it right and the heating element burned up so it quit working and I just eventually threw the whole thing away. After watching lots and lots of videos about what I was doing, I learned, but the guy didn't tell me anything. He just said, here, put the liquid in it. Alright, you're, you're smoking. And that was it. Um, so I don't have that anymore. I threw that away. Um, and that was my experience with the Kanger T3S. I just purchased um, last night, should be here sometime next week, which I may do an unboxing video of, the Kanger Pro Tank 2 Mini. Um, for anybody that is into vaping, you'll know what that is. Um, and for anybody that's about to get into vaping, I'm sure you'll see it out there because it's pretty popular. And I bought the um, Kanger Evod Twist battery to go with it. So uh, that should be coming soon. I may do a review on that setup. Um, this is a CE5. I've had two of these. Both of these were crap. The CE5s, I didn't like either one of them. I literally just kept this so you could kind of see. There's a, there's small differences. The, the CE4 is a wicking system, so it there's wicks inside it that soak up the liquid. that go to the top. Um, so you're kind of fighting gravity. And with the CE5s, um, they are bottom coil fed. But both of the CE5s I've got were crap. The first one I got was burning. I'm going to throw this away right now, actually. Was burning up all my juice. And uh, your juice can get burned if you don't do things right, which is what I was doing. One of the things I was doing wrong with the um, Kanger that I had before. And then the second one, the one I just threw out right there, there was something wrong with it. Like, I couldn't get any... Uh, I, couldn't end, like, I couldn't get any vapor to come out of it. I couldn't suck any vapor out. Although I was literally just sucking out juice. Um, but I could hear the heating element cooking, so I don't know what was wrong. But So I'm just sticking to these. These are the CE4s, this one and that one. And I'll get that Kanger tank. My friend at work has the Kanger Pro tank. And he's given that to me in exchange for uh, this setup right here. Because he lost his battery. And he lost his whole thing. And I have two. And I told him I wanted his Pro Tank. I was like, dude, let me get that Pro Tank. And he was like, you can have it. I don't even use it. But let me have one of your vaporizer pens. And I was like, you got a deal. Because I just bought a new one. So it worked out. So, ooh, this video is running a little longer than I thought it would. Um, <clears throat> I'll wrap things up real quick. So basically what I'm saying is if you're looking or you're thinking about getting into vaping, watch a bunch of videos on like vaping for beginners and stuff. Um, don't purchase starter kits from stores that sell vaping stuff because you'll spend a lot of money. Check out eBay and just vapor websites that sell stuff. Um, and be careful where you buy your juice from. Uh, I buy mine from a guy at a store where I can taste it before I, I buy it. I haven't ventured off to get anything online yet. But some of the things, the liquids I'm smoking, this one is Mountain Dew and it tastes delicious. It literally does taste like Mountain Dew and I have zero nicotine in this. This is watermelon gummy bear <clears throat> and it tastes pretty good and I've got uh, just 0.6 or 6 milligrams of nicotine in that one and then this is ice menthol. I bought this when I bought the uh, that tank that didn't work out for me and this is 10 milligrams and then this is watermelon plain and it's 12 milligrams so um, I go anywhere from 12 which is low to 0 which is no nicotine at all and the nicotine levels go up to 24 here but online you can go all the way up to like a 30 
four, I think, which is just super strong. Um, I couldn't smoke. I've smoked a 22 before, and it hit really hard. It was much harder than smoking a cigarette. So if you're if you're smoking like two packs a day, and you need something really strong. They'll hook you up. I promise. So anyway, this is just kind of my introduction video. You know, I started vaping, just to try and quit smoking, and it's it's worked for me. Um, and uh, there's tons of different flavors to try. There's tons of different colors, different combinations, different batteries, different tops, clearizers, atomizers, cartomizers. There's a, a whole fascinating world of vaping. So if you're thinking about getting into it, I totally say give it a try. I think you would like it. So until next time, everyone, thank you for watching and uh, later days.